Hey there! In this video, we're diving into everything you need to know about OBD2 trouble code P0016. First, let's understand what the P0016 code is. The P0016 code indicates that the ECM has detected a correlation error between the camshaft position sensor for Bank 1, specifically the intake camshaft, and the crankshaft position sensor. This means there's a misalignment between the camshaft and crankshaft positions. But what does that mean for your engine? Let's find out. The camshaft position sensor measures the position of the camshaft, while the crankshaft position sensor measures the position of the crankshaft. Both of these sensors send crucial data to the ECM, which uses this information to control ignition timing, fuel injection timing, and valve timing. In the case of V6 or V8 engines, there are two camshafts, Bank 1 and Bank 2. For dual overhead camshaft, DOHC engines, there are two camshafts per bank, intake and exhaust. When the ECU detects that the Bank 1 intake camshaft position and crankshaft position are out of sync by a specific degree, it triggers the P-2016 code. Now that we know what P-2016 means, let's find out how to fix it. Troubleshooting P-2016 involves several steps, and we'll discuss each one in detail. Let's get started. Before diving into specific repairs, perform an OBD2 scanner reset to clear the codes. Sometimes these codes pop up due to recent maintenance work and can resolve themselves after a reset. To reset the error codes, use an OBD2 scanner. You can find the best OBD2 scanner using the link in the description. Simply connect the scanner to your vehicle, follow the instructions to clear the trouble codes, and see if the P0016 code reappears. If the code comes back, it means there's a persistent issue that needs further troubleshooting. The first step is to scan for any other activated OBD2 codes. This helps us pinpoint where we need to focus. If there are other codes related to a faulty camshaft sensor, we should focus on the camshaft sensor. Similarly, if there are codes related to the crankshaft sensor, that's where our attention should go. Step 2. Visually inspect cam and crank sensors. Visually inspect the cam and crank sensors and their harnesses for damage. Look for broken or frayed wires. If you find any, repair them and recheck. If the crank and cam sensors are physically damaged, they need to be replaced. To find the right crank and camshaft sensors for your car make and model, check the link in the description. If both the crank and cam sensors, along with their harnesses, are in good condition but the P-2016 code still persists, further troubleshooting is required. Let's move on to the next step. Step 3. Test crank and cam sensors. You can test the crank and cam sensors using a multimeter. However, the testing method varies depending on whether you have a Hall effect sensor or a permanent magnetic sensor. To learn more about testing crank and cam sensors, check out our detailed video on this topic. The link is in the description below. If both the crank and cam sensors test OK, it's time to move on to the next step. Step 4. Visually inspect timing belt or chain. What ties the camshaft and crankshaft together is the timing belt or chain. Check that the belt or chain isn't stretched. Also, check for a damaged tensioner that may have allowed the chain or belt to slip a tooth or several teeth. If everything with the timing belt or chain looks okay and there's no sign of stretching or damage, we need to move to the next step. Step 5. Check Tone Ring The last suspect is the tone ring. Remove the cam gear and the crankshaft harmonic balancer and inspect the tone rings for proper alignment. Make sure they're not loose or damaged and check that they haven't sheared the key that aligns them. If the tone rings are misaligned, damaged, or have a sheared key, they need to be fixed or replaced to fix P1016. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with fellow automotive enthusiasts, and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth automotive diagnostics and repair guides. Don't forget to hit the bell icon to get notified of our upcoming videos.